tell you where the fish are. Get in there. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, yeah man. Bam. 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 Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer with Posky Outdoors coming to you today from Pepper's Lake. We're here on the edge of the Canadian Rockies. It's a beautiful place. We're almost all the way up in the Rockies, but man, we're coming out here to catch brook trout. Not big brook trout, a lot of pan-sized brook trout. It's a great place to come. Come with your family, come with your friends. If you're camping, you can come out here, catch a quick five fish limit, and it make it pretty easy to do so. Now, we're about three hours from Calgary, three hours from Edmonton, right up here in the mountains. So during the summertime, when it's really hot in the valley and dry in the valley, you can come up here and catch trout. We're gonna show you how easy it is to do this in just a couple hours time. Peppers is uh, one of our brook trout lakes. Uh, we primarily do rainbow trout in the province. Uh, the Rocky Mountain House area is kind of unique because we have some diversity of species. Uh, we've got some brooks, browns, and rainbow trout, and uh, peppers here, uh, we put about 8,000 20 centimeter fish in in the spring. All the brook trout we put in uh, in this area and the entire province are triploids. Nice work, buddy. There we go. Good work, buddy. Pepper Lake brook trout on yellow jackets. So we're right, uh, right close to the Rocky Mountains right now, just off the Forestry Trunk Road, uh, west of Rocky Mountain House, and uh, just a beautiful, uh, beautiful mountain lake. And uh, we do a number of lakes in this area. This is one of the areas of the province where you don't have to drive very far uh, to catch a few different kinds of trout. Is it better? A little bit. We got a jumper. <laughs> nice little Pepper's Lake brookie here. Went in at about 20 centimeters this year, so this guy could be from last year's stock. About 12 inches, so about a 30 centimeter fish. Real nice colors on him. This fish was caught on yellow jackets, slip floating, uh, 20 feet of water, 10 feet down, so halfway down the water column, single hook. Do they have right. these spots when they're in the hatchery or? Uh, they do, yeah, once they get to the size. So yeah, definitely see some coloration before we put them out. Beautiful little specimen here. This is one of our one of our lakes uh, that has uh, our standard regulations on them. So you can keep five fish any size. So this type of lake we're targeting towards, you know, towards families or people that want to take a few fish home and throw them in the pan. So, you know, this is a great opportunity for people that want to want to keep fish for the table. Uh, most of the rivers in this area are catch and release. Most of the native trout in the area, uh, you don't have the opportunity to take those home. Uh, so our stocking program provides an opportunity for people uh, who want to have some table fare. Did you lose him? Oh! oh no, he's still there. Is he? You can't be a monster. No, just a little. But he's there. A little jiggle of the head there. Just to get a fish out. Actually, he's not too bad. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. All right, it's got another nice little brookie here out of Peppers. Um, it's fishing only about 20, uh, 20 feet off the boat here, about 12 feet down, and uh, the bobber just sunk. Got him on the line, and uh, he didn't know he was hooked right off the bat, and uh, got him a little closer to the boat, and he gave us a little bit of a little bit of a fight before we got him to the net. So, see beautiful halos on this fish, beautiful coloring, uh, just real nice fish here in this lake. Perfect. What I like about yellow jackets is that they're very vibrant and they stand out and look really natural in clear water. Normally we like to bait about two to three eggs on the hook. It's a size 12 hook here. It's not rocket science. Today we're fishing slip float presentations. Very, very simple. What we have here is our slip float which allows you to fish depths up to 20 feet and deeper. This here is the bobber stopper and this will pretty much tell you where your float's gonna stop in the water column. Today we're in about 20 feet of water and this bobber stopper is pegged at about 10 feet, meaning that we are fishing halfway down in the water column, 10 feet down and 20 feet of water. A few spit, split shots on the line, we have a little barrel swivel to about a 20 inch fluorocarbon leader. 
and our three baited yellow jacket eggs. Ultralight rod. Ultralight rods are great rods to fish with because not only do the fish have to be big to feel big, but it's very fun and especially if you're fishing with kids, they can get a big blast out of catching fish with an ultralight rod. Out here, I recommend using rods at least six and a half feet to about eight feet long, ultralight action in particular. And the line you want to keep fairly thin since the lakes are really clear and these fish are small and they can be really finicky at times. So today we're using six pound main line with four pound leader line, fluorocarbon leader line. And uh, we've been quite su successful slip flow fishing. Generally the fish here on this lake are pretty small so you don't want to use big, big hooks or you'll miss a lot of fish. So the hooks I use are anywhere from a size 10 to a 14. Smaller hooks you cannot bait as many eggs on them. Whereas bigger hooks, you can bait a lot of eggs on them, but the fish do see the big hooks. So this here is a size 12. As you can tell, the eggs conceal the whole hook itself. Uh, as far as egg selection goes, uh, I'd come out with as many colors as you can. Different colors work in di different uh, light situations, water visibility. Today we have a really, really clear lake, so natural colors such as yellow jackets and orange deluxe have been the ticket for us today, just because the water is very clear and it looks really natural. In the evening time or first light when there's not as much light uh, gold label and silver label eggs work just as well in the low light conditions because they are more visible than orange deluxe and yellow jacket eggs what we've seen there's a number of spots you can fish peppers uh, you know from the bank um, you can also bring a boat out here uh, we have electric motors today so uh, this is one of the water bodies that's regulated uh, as to the type of motor you can use um, so we're not allowed to have uh, have gas motors on here uh, but if you want to come out row boats uh, great for kayaks great for canoes uh, great for small boats with an electric motor everywhere you look it's just gorgeous scenery and you have an opportunity to catch these beautiful little brook trout God, I love fishing ultralights. Came back to different Look at the gorgeous colors on that fish there. Literally came back three times, swiped the yellow jacket eggs. The float just dropped in the depths here. 20 feet of water. Beauty. Nice little yeah, Show them right out. Size right 12 hooks. <clears throat> yellow jacket eggs. This one have color like the last yeah. one? Beautiful brook trout here. Look at the colors on that one. Gorgeous male brook trout. How you know it's about 10 inches. Kipe. Kipe there indicates that this fish is a male. So Peppers is a great place to uh, to bring your kids or people who are just starting out at fishing. Um, the fish are fairly willing. Uh, the bite was a little bit soft today, but uh, there's a lot of fish in here. We saw them rising all around us. And uh, and anybody who's just starting to fish, uh, this is a good opportunity to get a fish on the line. I uh, may not always catch the lunker, um, but you're going to catch fish out here. Wow, this guy stroked it! <laughs> We're linked in, guys. We're linked in. Just going to watch the rope there. <clears throat> Don't worry, Jimmy, it's okay. Oh, nice little brookster! Got some weight to him, too. Yeah, not a bad fish. Not, not a bad fish. Not a bad right? fish. Stroke the yellow jacket eggs yeah. there. Nice scrappy, yeah. Nice scrappy little bugger there. Right there in the room. Oh. Got him. Got him. Nice, buddy. Got him. Nice. <laughs> Look at that. Did he hit this one hit hard? This one literally struck it so hard. It tapped my float once and it just hammered it three feet below the water surface. Oh. All right, let's say nice good night to him. Rookie. Gorgeous little fish. Yep. The halos aren't as pronounced on this fish, but hey, in my books, it'll do. Let's get him home. And back down the drink it goes. 